everybody how are you i hope that you are really really well you've had a good start to the week uh i have got a yolo here he's very small you see <laughs> so he's gonna see quietly while i read you one of our favorite stories and that is amazing grace there's lots of really important messages in this book john so see if you can work out what they are and after we finish the story i'm going to come back in to talk to your grown up about what you think some of these messages are now i'm going to try and read this book with a very with a lumpish sort of yellow on my lap it's a bit awkward yells right amazing grace grace was a girl who loved stories she didn't mind if they were read to her or told to her or made up in her own head she didn't care if they were from books or TV or in films or on video or out of Nana's long memory. Grace just loved stories. And after she'd heard them, or sometimes while they were still going on, Grace would act them out and she always gave herself the most exciting part. Story letter. Grace went into battle as Joan of Arc and wove a wicked web as a Nancy the Spider-Man. She hid inside the wooden horse at the gates of Troy. She crossed the Alps with Hannibal and a hundred elephants. She sailed the seven seas with a peg leg and a parrot. She was Hiawatha sitting by the shining big sea water and Mowgli in the back garden jungle. But most of all, Grace loved to act pantomimes. She liked to be Dick Whittington turning to hear the bells of London town or Aladdin rubbing the magic lamp. The best characters in pantomimes were boys, but Grace played with them anyway. When there was no one else around, Grace played all the parts herself. She was a cast of thousands. Poor, poor the cat usually helped out. And sometimes she could persuade Ma and Nana to join in when they weren't too busy. Then she was Dr Grace and their lives were in her hands. Would you ever think that? But Nana or Ma, they're both doing very good acting jobs, aren't they? One day at school, her teacher said they were going to do the play of Peter Pan. Grace put up a hand to be Peter Pan. You can't be called Peter, said Raj. That's a boy's name. But Grace kept her hand up. You can't be Peter Pan, whispered Natalie. He wasn't black. But Grace kept her hand up. All right, said the teacher. Lots of you want to be Peter Pan, so we'll have to have auditions. We'll choose the parts next Monday. So auditions a bit like a tryout to see who's the best person for the job. When Grace got home, she seemed rather sad. What's the matter? asked Ma. Raj said I couldn't be Peter Pan because I'm a girl. That just shows all Raj knows about it, said Ma. Peter Pan is always a girl. Grace cheered up and later she remembered something else. Natalie says I can't be Peter Pan because I'm black, she said. Ma started to get angry, but Nana stopped her. It seems that Natalie's another one who doesn't know nothing, she said. You can be anything you want, Grace, if you put your mind to it. Next day was Saturday and Nana told Grace they were going out. In the afternoon, they caught a bus and a train into town. Nana took Grace to a grand theatre. Outside, it said, Rosalie Wilkins in Romeo and Juliet in beautiful sparkling lights. Are we going to the ballet, Nana? asked Grace. We are, honey, but I want you to look at these pictures first. Nana showed Grace some photographs of the beautiful young girl dancer in a tutu. Stunning new Juliet, it said on one of them. 
That one is little Rosalie from back home in Trinidad, said Nana. Her granny and me, we grew up together on the island. She's always asking me do I want tickets to see her little girl dance. So this time I said yes. After the ballet, Grace played the part of Juliet dancing around her room in her imaginary tutu. I can be anything I want, she thought. I can even be Peter Pan. On Monday, they had the auditions. Their teacher let the class to vote on the parts. Raj was chosen to play Captain Hook. Natalie was going to be Wendy. Then they had to choose Peter Pan. Grace knew exactly what to do and all the words to say. It was a part she'd often played at home. All the children voted for her. You were great, said Natalie. The play was a great success and Grace was an amazing Peter Pan. After it was all over, she said, oh, I feel as if I could fly all the way home. You probably could, said Ma. Yes, said Nana. If Grace put her mind to it, she can do anything she wants. There you go. Good story, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed that to talk to your grown-up. I think it's a really, really important story, children, because you can do anything that you want to do as well. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something if you want to go ahead and do it. All right, you all take care. Sending you lots and lots of love. I will read your story again soon. Carlos, too snoozy to